Today is gonna be crazy. We are gonna use artificial intelligence to help us design a hand towel holder for our new bathroom. A couple weeks ago, we made a vanity for that bathroom. Today, we're going to use Mid Journey to create a hand towel holder. This is gonna be bonkers. This might be a little difficult, might be a little challenging, but I think we got this. Dan, we got this? We got this. We got this. And today's video is brought to us by Squarespace. We're gonna enter a prompt of bathroom countertop hand towel holder and just see what comes up. And this is nowhere near what we are looking for. We need to refine our, our prompt. It definitely needs to be wood. This is a woodworking channel. So bathroom countertop hand towel holder wood. All right, that is interesting. The bottom left is the only usable one out of these. Let's add mid-century modern to the mix here. I don't like any of these results either. I'm just gonna keep refreshing until I get something that I like. This is a little bit closer. Number three has like this goal post type thing. Let's do a variation of three, but let's add Sam Maloof. Sam Maloof was an amazing furniture designer. Let's see if that does anything. Finally, I'm getting something that I sort of like, this top left one. That is interesting. I'm gonna see what happens when I do some variations with V1 here. Add in Sam Maloof, who's known for his walnuts and his kind of flowing, curved designs, not a lot of straight pieces. That makes this a little bit more interesting, a little bit more difficult to do. Now I'm getting kind of excited. You gotta keep adding terms to the prompt until you can get what you want out of this. This is a great sketch pad. We've got 12 designs. I'm gonna let my Discord users decide which one to make. How does somebody get access to your Discord? That is a good question, Daniel. You can access my Discord. There, there's a link down below. You go through my Patreon. The votes are in from Patreon and Discord. I tallied everything up. Got the high-res version here. There must be some sort of like goal post going across here with then a bar coming out that way. When I zoom into the image here, there are some really interesting things happening that might be a little difficult to do. We'll tackle those problems later. Let's start with the easy part, cut out the circle, and do our thing. You might recall we got this piece of wood from the antique mall a couple weeks ago when we made the lamp. I don't suggest buying your wood from an antique mall, but this was such a good deal. We gotta mill this up. It's rough on all eight sides, six sides, four sides. It's rough on all of its sides. So the first thing we need to do is just get it so it's workable. Now that we got this board all milled up, I only need about this much of it. So I'm gonna chop this off. The rest of this is ready to go for the next project. And I think I can resaw this. And first thing I gotta do is I just need to chop off the section that I need. That's what I'm trying to say. I resolved this into two and the circle bottom was gonna be this piece and then this piece was gonna be this upright part right here. And when I look closer at the photo, it's way thicker down on the bottom and I don't think I have the thickness that I want. So I'm gonna save this piece for a future project and go cut off one more piece out of that slab that's gonna give me the thickness that I want. There's some other challenges like this, this up here, physically doesn't make any sense. I've got a plan, I got a plan. So I think the bottom, that looks to be about six and a half inches. I think that's gonna work. So I'm just gonna draw that out here. So when I zoom into the photo here, this base, it's thicker on one side and then tapers down also has a swoop going all the way across. There's also this divot here which creates the shadow line. We'll worry about that later on. But right now we need to create this taper and then the swoop. I 
I got this double-sided tape on, on the bench here, and I'm trying to create that swoop, and I got some 40 grit sandpaper in there. It's just not working. I'll be here all day. So, time to bring out the Arbortec Turboplane. Normally, I do this outside, but it's winter. I think that is it. It has this weird Dr. Seuss feel. It tapers down the one side, and then also has a swoop. And it looks exactly what I see in the photo. So I think we can now move on to the top part. This doesn't work in the real world. There's pieces missing and the towel is just floating on there. Plus the towel is not going to be rolled up like that. The towel needs to hang like this. So I think the first dimension is getting this width. And I think three inches is going to do it. And so the height needs to be at least this tall so the towel is not touching. I think I'm gonna come in with the bandsaw, come in down here, cut this out, and then cut this out, and then I can glue that back together right there. I'll worry about this towel hanging part in a little bit. The proportions fit here on the computer because it doesn't show the full length of the towel. The towel is not gonna be rounded up into this ball. It's gonna hang. And so in reality, this needs to be much taller than that. So we got that cut out on the bandsaw. And now that I see this in person, even though proportions aren't gonna be like what's in the photo, I think it's gonna be okay, especially once we do some shaping. So I have to, I cut through here, so I gotta glue that back together. And then this is the piece that's going to have the, the dowel that's gonna hold the towel. That's also going to get glued into there as well. But I wanna cut this in half so on the other side, it looks inset. So I'm gonna glue this piece back in. It doesn't look like much yet, but it's, it's coming together nice. So now uh, the profile needs to be thinned out and then it, and it comes out a little bit here at the bottom. So we're gonna do that at the bandsaw. So I'm gonna just draw a line here. This is where the magic happens. This is like your mom's bedroom. This is where it's all, <laughs> yes. I got Daniel to laugh real good. Uh, this is where we get to shape it and give it that organicness that it needs. I got this foot powered. You'll have to trust me that my foot is doing stuff. And we're just gonna start carving away. I don't know what I'm doing. I just know I need to remove wood. Finally got this guy sanded smooth. This took hours, two movies worth, and one of those movies was three hours long. And I don't have a detail sander, but I got one coming now because this was a pain in the So a couple little tricks on my Fordham here, which is basically a glorified Dremel. I, I took a steel dowel and glued some sandpaper on there. That helped. Uh, I went and bought a file. That definitely helped. I got some of those, those things that you, you can put on a drill. That somewhat helped. One of the cool things that I found was taking some adhesive back sandpaper and putting it on a putty knife. And because this is flexible, it really allowed me to get into certain areas and sand away all those bandsaw marks and 
the foreskin mark, Fordham marks on there. In the photo here, it looks like it's dished out where this sits in there to create that shadow line. So we got a little bit more carbon to do, and then we're gonna glue that on there. Since we got long grain to long grain, I don't think we need to do any reinforcements. That should be good. I got that all carved out. It's gonna have a good transition into this top piece. The next thing I need to do is cut this walnut dowel rod to length and then glue it into here. And while I am doing that, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Squarespace. It's 2023, you should have a website. I've got like 15 websites. I don't really have that many, but I've got a few websites. They are all on Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for 10 years and I used them before they were a sponsor. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to host your website and you can even get your domain names through Squarespace. Whether you just need a place to show off your work or you need an e-commerce site, Squarespace is the perfect place to do so. If you need an image portfolio of your work, Squarespace has a number of beautiful galleries to just make you look super profesh. And you don't need to know a thing about design. They've got a number of absolutely beautiful award-winning templates to get you started. I like to use Squarespace for my e-commerce store where I can sell both digital and physical items. And you can bring in all your social media feeds into Squarespace so you have one central place for all of your stuff. So visit squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you Squarespace for making these videos possible. Now let's get this doll installed. Dow. My wife is a speech therapist. You would think. So we get to glue this dowel in the place. Got the dowel in there. So now I'm gonna glue this on to the base. Got that beautiful transition. You probably can't see it yet, but you will soon enough. And I'm gonna glue this in place. I've got long grain to long grain. Originally, I was not going to reinforce this because I've got long grain to long grain, but I think I'm gonna bring in some dowels from underneath just in case you wanna stand on this and have that extra strength. So I'm gonna use some wood glue and some CA glue. Wood glue for strength, CA glue as a clamp because it dries so damn fast. So now I've got this clamp to the bench and I'm just gonna drill some holes from the bottom so I can add some dowels to add a little bit of reinforcement. I got a few coats of my favorite oil finish on there and it's ready for use. Whether you like it or not, AI is going to play a huge part in our lives moving forward. Does this bother you? Are you excited or are you scared? Would this even be considered my design? And should I try it again on a bigger project? Design is a huge part of who I am and in this video, I show how I borrow other designers work to influence my own. 